Hello, welcome to the course on Operator Theory. I am G. Ramesh, a professor in the Department of Mathematics at IIT Hyderabad. I am very happy to offer this course through NPTEL platform. Today, I am going to give a brief introduction about this course. In this course, we study about linear operators defined between Hilbert spaces, which is exactly a generalization of operators defined on finite dimensional Hilbert spaces or matrices. Operator theory is one of the nicest advancements of function analysis having applications in various branches of mathematics, physics and engineering. It is also a basis for nicer generalizations which include the theory of C-star algebra, four neyman algebras and non-commutative geometry. To understand this course, we need basics from linear algebra, functional analysis, measure theory and basic complex analysis. From linear algebra, mainly we need diagonalization of a matrix and spectral decomposition of a normal matrix. From function analysis, we need basic theorems like open mapping theorem, the closure of theorem, the reduced representation theorem and the projection theorem. In measure theory, we need a theory of LP spaces and integration with respect to a measure. In complex analysis, we need analysis of functions, uh, Cauchy integral formula and the Liouville's theorem. Let me quickly recall uh, two important results from uh, basic linear algebra. If A is a n by n complex matrix, then A is normal if and only if there exists a unitary matrix U such that A equal to U star DU where D is the diagonal matrix with the diagonal entries lambda 1, lambda 2, so on, lambda n. These diagonal entries of D are exactly eigenvalues of A. And in fact, unitary equivalence preserves uh, the trace, the determinant, invertibility and many more important properties. So, by expressing uh, A in this way, we are going to get information about A from the matrix D. So, since D is a linear, uh, D is a matrix, n by n matrix, it can be viewed as a linear transformation from Cn to Cn. It can be written as D of x1, x2, so on xn equal to lambda1 x1, lambda2 x2, so on lambda n xn. And this can be written as pointwise product of these two vectors, lambda1, lambda2, so on lambda n multiplied by x1 x2, so on, xn. That means the diagonal matrix D or diagonal operator D, we can view it as a multiplication operator uh, with a fixed uh, vector lambda 1, lambda 2, so on, lambda n. This representation of D is going to be very useful when we want to uh, extend this result to the infinite dimensional setting. Let us recall one more important result from a linear algebra. If A is a n by n uh, normal matrix uh, with complex entries, then there exist uh, complex numbers lambda 1, lambda 2, so on, lambda r, which are distinct and orthogonal projections E1, E2, so on, ER, such that uh, they are mutually orthogonal in the sense that uh, range of EI is orthogonal to range of EJ uh, for I not equal to J and each of them is non-zero. And the third condition says that summation j equal to 1 to r, ej is identity. So, this can be expressed as follows. c power n can be uh, splitted as orthogonal direct sum of eigen spaces of A. And the fourth condition says that summation j equal to 1 to r, lambda j, ej. That means we are writing A as linear combinations of orthogonal projections onto the eigen space. And further, if f is a continuous function on C, uh, then we can say that f of A can be written as u star f of d u, where uh, d is a diagonal matrix with diagonal entries lambda 1, lambda 2, so on, lambda n. In this case, it is easy to look, easy to find out uh, f of d, which is a diagonal matrix with diagonal entries f of lambda 1, f of lambda 2, so on, f of lambda n. So, in the second case, f of A can be written as follows summation j equal to 1 to r f of lambda j ej. So, in this course, what exactly we are going to study? Our aim is to 
prove all the uh, earlier results to the infinite dimensional setting. In other words, we want to generalize the spectral theory of matrices or finite dimensional operators to operators on infinite dimensional Hilbert spaces. So, in this case, we have to actually replace the set of all eigenvalues with an appropriate set that we call as a spectrum of an operator. Uh, when we restrict the operator to finite dimensional space, the spectrum exactly coincides with uh, the set of all eigenvalues. It is possible to find examples on infinite dimensional Hilbert spaces uh, without eigenvalues. In that case, uh, spectrum is a more generation uh, of uh, the set of all eigenvalues. And in this course, we are going to look at uh, different kinds of operators and uh, find spectrum of uh, those operators and uh, we can find properties of different kinds of operators. And our aim is to develop the spectral theory of uh, compact normal operators, which is exactly the immediate generation of uh, uh, spectral theory of matrices. Uh, it is to be noted that the theory of compact normal operators emerged from the theory of Volterra integral operators as well as Fredholm integral operators. Later, we want to generalize this uh, spectral theory of compact normal operators to a more general setting namely the spectral theory of normal operators. That means we are going to drop the condition compactness and uh, develop the spectral theory in a more general setting. And later we also want to study functional calculus for uh, normal operators. Uh, in other words, we are going to study uh, infinite dimensional linear algebra in this course. These are a few important references. The first one is uh, Batchman and Narisi title is function analysis, second one is uh, Rajendra Bhatia, notes on function analysis, third one is uh, book by J.B. Conway, a course on function analysis and fourth one is uh, Goldberg, Goldberg and Kashak, title is basic classes of linear operators and the fifth one is by P.R. Halmos, the title is finite dimensional vector spaces and sixth one is Hilbert space problem book by P.R. Halmos. And the next one is Introduction to Hilbert Space and the Theory of Spectral Multiplicity by P. R. Halmos. And the last one is uh, book by Pedersen, the title is Analysis Now. So uh, while studying this course, we are going to compare uh, our results, whichever we are going to prove with uh, those of finite dimensional operators or matrices. Thank you.